All right, Woody Mountain Campground, Flagstaff, Arizona. Gonna do a little, a little bike through. There's Stephanie over there. We got these little cabins, cabins back there. Do a bike through. Full wagon. These little Over here, you can play horseshoes. See there? Get a little community barbecue area with cornhole. There we are back in there. There's my truck. We in a way. Oh. Okay. I did a little tour through here. There's your little, there's your laundry room over there. Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. There's your laundry room over there. Trash over there. your dump station over there all these spots well I shouldn't say all of them but some of them have electric sewer and water some of them just have electric and water and no sewer and then some of them are dry camping spots I'll show you those here in a minute and then right back over here behind this area well let me show you there's a little doggy park over here I'll show you a little doggy park Here's your little doggy park area in here. And also just to be, should be noted is that this is a 30 amp only. It's not half 50 amp. But here we are in the dead of summer, heat of summer I should say. And it's only probably 80 degrees outside. We should be okay with one AC running. There's our camping spot over there. That's us. We've been here probably, I don't know. How many times have you been here, Stephanie? Five, six times. Yeah, probably about that. And over here, there's another Facility, bathroom, laundry. Make sure I'm on set. Make sure I'm zoomed all the way out here. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So like I was saying, just about everything over here is 30 amp. And they've got all water, sewer, electric. And I think the longest they can take is 40 foot. So you got some motorhomes over here and these guys over here are all boondockers or dry camping and we've come over here many a times bring our generator inverter with us and it's fine and over here are just uh, campers regular campers tent campers in this area over here and these guys pretty much clear out day by day kind of just traveling through and then that's some more of the boondockers over here and then they have some 
storages or storage area over here. And this spot right here, we've actually stayed at before. Space number 70. This is our favorite dry camping spot. It's literally like all by itself. Beautiful pines. And then when you get back in here, you'll have a lot of uh, seasonal campers in here. You'll see on some of them, they have the how long they're gonna be here posted on the tree. And you'll see some are here like three, four, five, six months in advance. Spaces are decent size. I wouldn't say that they're right on top of each other. Some of them are a little bit close, but honestly, it's not bad. There's one more little road that goes down in between over there. This is another bathroom facility over here. road out here is back to 66 so we just did a big loop when I do the drone footage you'll have a better idea of the size of the park it's not that big but I would definitely say it's the nicest one in Flagstaff it's pretty much the only one we come to when we're up here hi Steph She's not mic'd up, so you might not be able to hear her. I'd say I'm doing pretty good filming this, and riding a bike at the same time now. That's right. And then that's pretty much it. So the little loop goes all the way around. And cornhole over here. And a little playground for the kitties over here. See there? Not much, but at least there's something. All right. It's pretty good. Back to the homestead over here. I managed not to break my face filming us and riding a bike at the same time. <laughs>